even as parts of the Caribbean, continues to reel under the devastation wrought by Hurricane Irma one week ago, additional hurricane warnings were issued for several islands as Hurricane Maria moved closer to the Leeward Islands yesterday. The National Hurricane Center's advisory at 5 p.m. yesterday placed Hurricane Maria approximately 225 kilometers east northeast of Barbados. Although TT was not placed under any threat, watcher warning officials at the Met Office advised the system could trigger moderate to heavy rainfall beginning early this morning, even as tropical storm watches were issued for Barbados and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Meanwhile, hurricane warnings have been issued for St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat, Guadeloupe, and Dominica. In its 6 p.m. bulletin yesterday, the Met Office said Hurricane Maria continued to strengthen as it moved west northwesterly at approximately 24 km per hour. Although a slower motion was expected, additional strengthening was forecast with Maria set to become a near major hurricane as it moves across the Leeward Islands tonight. Tropical storm warnings have been issued for Antigua, Barbuda, Martinique, Saba, St. Eustatius, and St. Lucia. However, these are expected to be upgraded throughout today. Hurricane watches were also issued for the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands, while residents in Saba, St. Eustatius, St. Martin, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy and Angula were placed under tropical storm watch up to yesterday. Estimating that Maria's maximum sustained winds had increased to 120 km per hour with higher gusts at 5 p.m. yesterday, officials warned that hurricane-force winds extended outward up to 30 km from the center, with tropical storm-force winds extending outward up to 165 km. Reminding citizens that TT was in the rainy season, and adequate preparations must be made to preserve life and property against adverse weather, the Med Office urged persons to remain alert and monitor changes in the forecast.